Hello everyone, this is Shukesh Banik and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today as you can see I've got the new Micromax 18 and Ninja and I'll be reviewing this device and I'll be showing you the hardware, the benchmarks and also a full hardware performance test. So be with me. Now as you know this device is priced at only 6000 Indian rupees which is very low for the specifications of this device. It has got a 1 GHz dual core processor and also 512 MB of RAM and overall the performance of this device is excellent. I will be showing you all of this step by step. Let's first have a close look at the display. It is a 4 inches display with WVGA resolution that is 480 by 800 and the PPI is good 233. The viewing angles are ok though from the top there is a slight decolorization. From the brightness and also the crispness of the pixels it looks like it is an IPS display. Now let's have a quick hardware tour. Here is the 4 inches display with 800 by 480 pixels resolution and as you have seen the display is pretty good. Here are the home, back and menu options. This is the ear speaker and there are some sensors over here. On the top this is the 3.5 mm headset jack and this is the port for charging as well as data syncing. On the left you are getting is the volume rocker and on the right this is the power key. At the bottom you are getting absolutely nothing but the microphone hole over here. On the back you are getting is the 3 megapixel fixed focus camera and as you know I will upload the camera symbols on my new website gadgetsportal.in. You can see the unedited full size there. Here is the loudspeaker grill along with the Micromax logo. The back side as you can see is pretty glossy and attracts a lot of fingerprints. The rounded corners makes the phone very easy to hold. Overall the build quality of this device is pretty good for the price and there is a white version of this device. The display glass is pretty smooth and attracts a lot of fingerprints as well. The software, the user interface is also pretty smooth. This phone is running on Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich and this phone is also capable of 3G connectivity with 7.2 Mbps downloading and 5.76 Mbps uploading which is pretty standard for a device like this. Now let's check the storage, OS etc. Android version is 4.0.4 and the kernel is 3.0.13. Let's check the storage information. The internal storage is 400 MB plus 103 MB that is 503 MB. I suggest you to watch the unboxing video for the out of the box value. The phone storage is 2 GB free and 16 MB used. You can obviously move your installed applications to this phone storage but not your external SD storage. Here is the RAM information. At this moment you are getting 227 MB free and 245 MB is being used and there is no running applications at this moment. Though this settings app is eating up some space. Now regarding the sensors over here, let me show you a demonstration of the proximity sensor. As you can see the proximity sensor is very fast and also very responsive. Now let's talk about the other sensor that is the ambient light sensor and I am actually pretty happy that for the first time probably Micromax has included an ambient light sensor on this device and it also works pretty nice. I have checked it and the performance of this ambient light sensor is pretty good. So Micromax has put all the premium features on this device and the specifications the processing power is excellent for the price. Now let's check the sound quality of this device. Let's play this gadgets portal track. The loudspeaker quality is very very good on this device. It is pretty clear and also pretty loud. The headset you get with this device is not as good as this loudspeaker. Especially the bass is below par but you can obviously buy a separate headphone for this device. Now let's check the video playback. I am using MX player which can play almost all the video formats available in the market. This is an HD video and as you can see it is running smoothly though you will see that the buffering time is very high. This particular video is of very high bitrate. You can obviously watch the movies available in the market with lower bitrate. 
this video is looking very colorful on this very good display now let's try a full hd video and you will see that this phone cannot handle full hd video playback you will only hear the music this is a budget device and what you are getting is very good for the money regarding the camera quality i'll say it is okay for the money you can check the description for the direct links of the camera samples i will upload them full sized into my new website gadgetsportal.in now this phone also supports live wallpapers and also video wallpapers i'll show you the video wallpaper in the in-depth review so don't forget to subscribe the name of this wallpaper is season zane and it is available on the google play store for free as you can see this wallpaper is very colorful and on this very bright display this wallpaper is looking fantastic now let's do a speed test and what i found that the wi-fi speed on this device is not as good as usual let's do it i'm using a very fast wi-fi connection and let's check what is the speed i'm getting at this moment as you can see i'm getting very poor result though i am using a very fast connection but don't worry it is not as bad as it sounds let's check the multi-touch capability of this phone and you see that it has got one two and two point multi-touch only which is common on all the budget devices so you cannot actually complain about it now it is the time to run some benchmarks and check the quality of the cpu gpu ram io etc but first of all i wanna change the wallpaper and set a normal one to get the maximum performance from this phone well let's get started with this quadrant standard and let's first show you the system information the android version is 4.04 and the CPU is ARM version 7 clocked at 1001 MHz and it is a dual core processor which is fantastic for a budget device like this. The memory that is the RAM is around 482,000 KB. The GPU is as you can see Imagination Technologies PowerVR SGX 531 that is the same as Micromass A110. In fact the CPU that is the processor is also the same as Micromass A110. Here is the list of sensors and you are getting all the premium sensors you can get on a smartphone nowadays. And I wanna also share here is that Micromass Canvas 2 that is the Micromass A110 lacks this ambient light sensor. Now let's get started with the Quadrant Standard Benchmark. Well, you are getting amazing 2783 on the Quadrant standard which is very very good for a budget device like this. In fact, Micromass A110 has got 2791. So actually the same result you are getting on this Micromass A89. Now let's run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark to check the GPU performance. Well, you are getting 27.4 APS on this Nina Mark 2.4, which is even better than Micromass Canvas 2 A110, which my record says had got 26.9 FPS. Now let's run the Antutu benchmark. Well, you are again getting very good result here. You are getting 7125 on Antutu benchmark which is pretty good for a budget device like this. So friends, as you have seen so far, this is a damn good device with very good specifications and also the performance of this device is even comparable to Micromass A110 Canvas 2. This is beyond doubt the best budget device at this moment in India. The exterior look and also the overall feel of this device is also very premium. Just wait for a few days, I will upload a full in-depth review showing you all the features of this software. Meanwhile, you can visit my brand new website gadgetsportal.in for the in-depth review and also the camera samples, the product photos, etc. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe to Gadgets Portal. This is the best way to get connected and updated. You can also like this video, comment in the comment section if you have any query and also share this video with your friends. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye and take care.